Welcome back to the channel for more Sims 4 videos. If you are new to the Raven family, I'm Simmer Misty, and today we are going to be doing a My Favorite Cass CC Creators video. Now, this isn't coming at you in any particular order. These are just things in Cass that I currently am loving on and do not want to do without. Doesn't mean they are like in any particular order better than one or the other. I just I'm currently in love with them. It could change in the next month or whatever the case is. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. So the very first thing here is, that I want to talk about is my default skin replacement is by Floor. It um, is called Floor, the um, skin color or whatever you want to call it. Um, and the creator is Flower Milk Sims. So I am just going to go ahead and show you guys this here, Flower Milk CC um, Floor Skinned Blend. I am going to post all of these links in the description below like I always do, um, but they do have a Tumblr page, so we will link that for you. But this is what the uh, default skin looks like. It is just an override that I have in my game, and so all of my sims look just like this. Um, and I really, really like it. I think it is a really nice, smooth skin. And yeah, I would wish I could show you the difference between um, EA and that, but I can't because it's um, a replacement. So there's that. Um, just trust me when I say it looks better. Um, the second thing is I have a non-default skin in my game by um, Lematisse, and it is called Bear, and that is gonna be all of these little wrenches and oh there we go okay so yeah now I've got her in a skin detail and I put something on her so that's fine so if you click on one of these and then you decide that you want to change her skin detail then you can go to her skin tone and you can change her skin tone okay well you get the picture these are the the skin tones And the like this. So these are those skin tones here. I really like them actually. They're really, really nice skin colorings. And then the next thing on the agenda is our Crybaby Doe Eyes. And they are also a default replacement. So if we hop back over here, you will see that her eyes look like so. And these are the default replacements that I have in the game. The second set of eyes that I have in the game are the um, Impact Rat Boy Impact eyes, and they look like they look like that. So the Impact eyes are here by Rat uh, Boy Sim. And they come in all kinds of different colors, but they also um, do have um, heterochromia. And then I also have Crystal Eyes by also Crybabies, but it was recolored by Sol Solstice. So those are also in my game. So I have a lot of eyes, which you guys did see by looking at this. Um, so I've got those. I believe those are those actual recolors there. And these are the LG eyes by um, Miko, I believe. Those actually might be the crystal eyes. But I would say Rat Boys are probably one of my favorites along with the uh, Doe eyes. The Doe eyes just look really um, natural as do the, um, I find the Rat Boys look very realistic. Like those just look like real eyes to me. All right, moving along to our next have in my game are by Hijiko and they I think are pretty common amongst everyone. Um, they are the 3D lashes. I do have the curled and uncurled ones. I have the face paint ones and I have the skin default ones. I have them both and the reason for that is um, 
sometimes you need glasses and sometimes you don't and if you need glasses you need the skin default ones and if you don't need glasses then you could get away with using the eyeglasses ones um, but furthermore than that I have a secondary um, eyelash that I use that I actually um, prefer so I only use these um, when I need glasses um, so if I need glasses then I use these because they are in um, skin details if I don't need glasses then I actually use coffee moons um, because I prefer her eyelashes um, better because I think they're very lovely like they're very very lovely she has two or three or maybe even four different styles um, and she has some that look like um, you've just gotten out of like a, a swimming pool or that you've just um, you know I'll show you so you've got I also have dream gal she has some pretty ones but I don't know where coffee moons went okay that's unsettling I use them on all of, on all of my um, sims but here they are these are the extra long ones then she has the natural ones she has some short ones she has some that are labeled as wet um, here's the natural looking ones and then there's some that look like you're they're wet right so it's like um, you just got out of a bath or out of the pool or something like that um, she also does eyes um, they're non-default um, more like paint right so like you would do them as um, as paint colors like contacts so I do like her she also has lots of eyebrows um, so I like her um, lip glosses her eyebrows her um, eyelashes and that's pretty much what I use coffee moon for and then our next is going to be Anto and what can I say about Anto other than love Anto um, there's so much I could say about hair um, I custom commented hair oh my gosh uh, but Anto is probably my number one I love the fact that he has every um, not only style but colors like always colors colors like so many colors but also the bright colors you can do with the chromatics you can mix the colors now um, and you don't always get that sometimes you get um, you know where you only have like one color option um, whereas he has such such a color variety and I, I really really love that um, so we love that we have all these different options of color that we can use now and um, so he is my favorite for that <clears throat> love it all right and then the next thing on our list here is lady simmer she is really really good for makeup um, and the makeup that she does is going to be um, like blush and eyeshadow she does really nice um, freckles and she does eyeliners and lip glosses she makes pre-made sims she does um, also uh, oh that's very bright um, she does pre-made sims she also does um, I think that's about it that's a lot though she does quite a bit of stuff um, but yeah, I really, really like her stuff. I think she um, uses kind of a pretty natural like look about it. She, you know, has the slider so you can lighten it up really fair, um, you know, just to make it really, really light. But they're really natural colors. You know, it's not anything too crazy. Like you can really lighten that up to make it like just a hint of that coloring of blush, right? Um, so I do really, really like her stuff as well. Um, so Lady Simmer, um, it's Ma Maxis Match, um, so I do also like that. Um, 
so yeah lady simmer's makeup is really really nice and then the next person on our list is going to be praline sims which is our jack of all trades here we've got build by we've got terrain paint we've got makeup skin details um and skin blends um jewelry clothes buildings um sims um if you name it she probably does it um she's pretty amazing so check her out because you're if you're looking for something and she's not done it well i don't know who has um but yeah i typically go like lipstick oh that's gorgeous i'm gonna have to get that um this is why i tried to avoid praline sims because i could spend so much time on her stuff like I typically go for like lipsticks with her, um, jewelry, um, and um, eyebrows, beards, um, those kind of things. And anything else I try to stay completely away because I will literally fill my CC folder to the brim and it'll just be like, my computer will, you know what, let's be honest, my CC folder is already like that. So, but, oh, she has so much stuff. So yes, Praline Sims is amazing. Um, the next CC um, that I have found is Cosmetic. And to be completely honest, this is a newer, um, a newer CC find for me. Um, but I'm really, really digging them. So they are, they've got like makeups, um, but like highlighters and um, lots of lipsticks and, um, I just really really like their stuff like it's really like natural looking and like subtle like it's just really really nice quality um, stuff like natural so in real life I don't like a whole lot of makeup I'm kind of a uh, slap on a little bit of mascara a little bit of lip gloss and go kind of gal um, so this is kind of right up my alley. Um, it just kind of screams Misty, this um, creator. So yeah, as soon as I saw this creator stuff, I was like, yep, that's, that's the stuff I want in my life. So I love it. Like this right here, that's perfect. Like that's, that looks like something I would wear only with like really big eyelashes because I have really long eyelashes. So we need like, I'm not making me, but just to give you an idea. Um, but yeah, like it's just really, really natural colored um, makeup. And um, there, I don't like that pink, but you get my drift. There, there you go. There's me. It's not me, but you know what I'm saying. Um, so cosmetic does eyebrows um, as well. They do um, the natural coloring of um, makeup and i just really really love that so their page looks like this and everything's just really really like pretty and natural again um they've got that kind of maxis match look to it um it probably is maxis match um to be honest but it's it's beautiful like i just i don't know i just like how it sits on the face i, I just really like it um and last but certainly not least and you're gonna find this one on patreon is sims 3 melancholic and let me just say um for this one i i just can't even begin to explain how in love i am with this creator and the things that they're doing um <clears throat> like mind blown okay um let me see if i can even find it because I, I just want to show you. I just want to show you. I, I just loaded a whole bunch of stuff in my game, and, and I was already had the game loaded, so it's probably not even in here. But um, here's one of them. So basically, what it is is like it's a genetic system. So you put in a genetic system and your family gets a genetic system so it's realism real is real skin realism of your sims genetic system so like for instance if i do this i give her moles which are genetic and now when she has kids somehow within the scheme of things and however this creator 
did this system, the kids are going to end up with some form of these moles. Same as with the eyes. She has some contacts somewhere. I'm assuming they're in the contact section. Where are those at, people? Makeup? Okay. Um, I don't do contacts because I have my eyes as defaults, but let's go find them. Um, okay, here's another one. Blush. Okay, see how it's like very realistic? Right? So this is a blush with freckles. So, and they're genetic. Would you stop that? That was unnecessary. Um, and let's keep looking. Which means that genetically, in the future, her children are going to possibly genetically get that from her. Okay, and so then all these eyes, you can tell like her pictures all look similar, right? So all these eyes are the genetic eyes. Obviously they're not default, so you're going to have to go in each individually and change them all, um, which isn't a huge deal, but um, I really, 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 really love the Sim 3 melancholic um, genetic stuff. I think it is amazing how this creator has made this um, happen. Currently right now she's actually working on um, pregnancy bellies and like stretch marks and things like that to give realism to that. So if you're a person that likes um, more realistic sims and I typically would stay more on like the um, like I liked the Alpha CC and the Maxis Match clothes. Um, the Alpha CC as far as like hair goes but the Maxis Match clothes. But I've found myself over the last like week and a half um, kind of more leaning towards um, uh, her stuff like her genetic stuff really kind of tuned me in her and um, Ramus Sirion uh, which is also on my list here and I just I yeah I just don't know something about it I'm just like okay you guys are did I skip over her by the way did I lose her somewhere in the mix She's also on my list, so we'll go over her. Um, but yeah, again, amazing skin with Remus Sirion. Like, she's on the list, um, and I, I've somehow missed her. But um, I just, I've, I'm leaning more towards that realism because I just think, like, that's gorgeous. Like, she looks so pretty. And... It doesn't have to be so super hyper realistic that you're just like, okay, that's creepy. But like, doesn't she just look stunning? I think so. And if you go to, I, cause I do have, um, since we're gonna talk about Rey Mysterion really, really quickly here, I'll just go to something that I have of hers um, in here so I can just show you what I'm talking about. Um, for example, if we go here to her and we click on like 21 here and we go find like a similar skin tone, this is what I'm talking about. That is a little bit more realistic of a skin tone than Maxis Match, um, more alpha. And I just think like that makes her very, like she's lovely. And now she's got the genetics things as well. She's absolutely gorgeous. I don't think she actually should have been a blonde, but that's quite all right. Let's make her a redhead. Oh, heavens to Betsy. She's gorgeous. But anyway, that's all I have for this uh, CC video. So I actually am going to be having a part two come out and the part two is going to be going over more cast stuff in the sense of um, clothing and um, favorite cast creators for um, clothing stuff. So I hope you like this video. Um, I know it was kind of like rambly and me I was kind of all over the place but that's because I've actually never done a video like this and I was like I don't exactly know if I should create somebody or if I should just like show them 
my pages? Should I do a mixture of both? I will get better with this as time goes on. This was my very first one. If you hated it, let me know you hated it. If you liked it, let me know you liked it. Um, I'm always down for constructive criticism because I'm learning. Um, but yeah, those are my favorites. And I will put a description to each creator that I love in the, um, or that I talked about that I love, that I love and that I talked about there. Win-win. Um, in the description box below so that you can go check them out yourselves and some of them are going to be behind paywalls um, until their stuff is public then you may have to wait on that um, and I do apologize for that um, I'm me so I'm impatient I don't wait on nothing but um, yeah just know that eventually everything um, does typically go public and um, I hope that you enjoyed this so until next time, guys, I'm going to fly for now, and I'll see you then. Bye, y'all.